Mr. Chairman of the State Committee, the crew is ready for the examination. Thank you. Thank you very much for the yesterday's examination. Everything went very well. So do you have any recommendations for us today? Not actually. It doesn't matter for your crew which question we're going to ask. You know everything. It doesn't matter what questions we're going to ask. Okay, so we're ready for the examination. We're good to go. There's a wide variety of scenarios, uh, niche, um, uh, not normal situations that we could run into. Uh, the good thing is that uh, most of those scenarios we practice throughout our training flow, and so we should be ready for any of them that come our way. Yes, we have a question for you. I have a question for Oleg. You already took those examinations in the past. So my question is, what's the difference between yesterday's exam and today's examination? So yesterday we were taking a Russian segment examination. We had different tasks, different scenarios, different questions. There was even a different approach to that examination. So today's scenario will be a more, will be more dynamic. We will have to be very concentrated and it will require a lot of teamwork. But we're sure we will excel that. I'm sure the result will be great. That's all. Okay, let's go. Okay, we start our practice. I'm Pulsar 2. How do you copy us? Good afternoon. The crew of Expedition 3738 is ready to take our examinations. <laughs> We're always ready. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes, it will be an examination, practice, scenarios. Good luck. Good luck to all of you. Thank you. Well, I hope we're very prepared. Uh, the uh, training teams here in Russia, both in the United States and all the other uh, international partners, have done a great job getting us ready. So I think we're, uh, we'll see how it goes. So the most difficult day we had yesterday when our backup crew started their training session. However, the sequence of all exercises and examinations is not that important during our training flow. We were also backup crew, uh, we were prime crew in different combinations, but we didn't feel any difference. Yes, the changes have been pretty major. During my first flight, the station had only three crew members on board, and there was a different approach how to train the crew, how to use the crew on board the station. Right now, we have six crew members, we have multi segment activities, we work on our own segments. That is why we have differences in the training flow. We are more prepared for our segment. No, we won't have any fire. We will not be lighting up the Olympic torch. It will be simply a torch for Sochi Olympics. Besides this EVA, we will have two more EVAs on the Russian segment. We will be installing scientific hardware and we will be preparing the Russian segment for the MLM module. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much. Bye bye. I think the crew has told you everything. I don't think you need any more details from me. Okay. Do you have any questions? Actually, they're working on all possible off nominal situations that we can possibly foresee. I cannot tell you which off nominal situation they're having during the examination today. You will learn about it later if you're interested in it. So you will know that at the end of the simulation. Right now the crew is prepared for all off nominal situations on board the station. Sometimes they might encounter something new uh, during our simulations, as it can happen on board the station. And our simulator, of course, can have some issues also. And we're always telling the crew that any issues with the simulator are also of nominal situations for the crew that they have to be able to cope with. So the crew has to be prepared even for those issues. So they can have some additional of nominal situations in, in addition to those that are in their examination ticket. 
What do you mean open space activities? Do you mean the mission or the EVA? Of course, we're hoping that there won't be any off nominal situations aboard the station. That is why we are preparing the crew. We're pretty confident that we won't have any off nominal situations. So we are prepared for them, but we hope they will never happen. The thing is that the response from the USOS crew and the Russian crew can be the same. And sometimes we just put in some phenomenal situation and the crew is ready to cope with them. So they're even ready to cope with those off normal situations that are non-standard that they wouldn't expect. So Sometimes we just uh, have nominal day for the, during the simulation and the crew copes with that very well as well. The crew copes with these off normal situations very well, so both on board the station and during the simulations. So of course, it's better to practice those off normal situations here on the ground than in space. So I hope we won't have any emergencies on board the station. The crew is very good. Oleg Kadov is a very experienced cosmonaut. He has been working for GCTC for a long time. He started as a surgeon in our center. So two crew members in this crew have uh, medical degrees. They are surgeons. So Sergey Rizansky and Oleg Kadov have very good technical background. Oleg Kadov also has um, some pilot experience as a pilot. That is why they are very well prepared. And this crew is very unique in this sense. So they get very comprehensive training also, so the crew is prepared very well. And Alec is a very good commander, he has very good experience and he's sharing his experience with his crew members. Oleg is your deputy at GCTC. Will you miss him on the ground? Yes, I will miss him on the ground. Traditionally, at GCTC, cosmonauts uh, who already flew to the station participate in preparation of future missions. That is exactly what Oleg Kadov do. Also, he was performing all these functions. He was my deputy. Right now, of course, he's too busy to do that. Uh, he is not performing those duties anymore. But after the flight, I hope he will come back to the GCTC and become a very successful manager at GCTC. This is very good practice at GCTC. When cosmonaut becomes a manager or starts performing administrative duties, uh, it's very useful. So my case was a little bit um, an exception from the general rule. I was working for the MCCM as well. So Oleg is pretty much following my path. I support him in, on this path and we try to support him as much as possible to help him prepare for the flight very well. Yes, I, you asked already the question about the Olympic torch. Um, there were some discussions. Some people were thinking that we will be lightening up the torch. Uh, the torch uh, cannot be lightened up in the vacuum. Uh, we won't light it up inside the station, inside the Soyuz vehicle. Right now, the, we have taken the resolution to send a real Olympic torch to the station. So it will be part of the Olympic relay. It will be a very long um, relay, and one of the stages of that relay will take place on board the station. After that, this torch um, will continue its uh, relay on the ground.
Mr. Chairman of the State Commission, the crew is ready for the examinations. Good luck to you. Alexander, yesterday you had your first examination at GCTC. How did it go? Yes, yesterday we had our first examination and it coincided with the beginning of the uh, new academic year in Russia. So we were like school children who were taking their examinations. Uh, we were uh, taking examination in the four orbit rendezvous. So we got straight A, flat A yesterday. So we were practicing also the docking scenario yesterday. Everything went very well. We had a couple of remarks from our instructors, but all in all, we excelled the exam. I think everything will be great today, too. We also have this tradition. Ha, 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 ha.